So how does a musician like myself, who's been unemployed for two years, manage to travel twice a year, every single year on a shoestring budget? Well, today is your lucky day because I'm going to be answering all of your questions, giving out my four best travel hacks on how to travel cheap in 2019 as a content creator slash musician. Let's go. What's up everybody? I am Legend, your favorite traveling musician right here on YouTube. And finally, I'm going to be diving into some traveling musician type content. As I previously stated in my last video, I'm gonna be traveling at the end of this month. So I figured now would be a really good time to kind of talk about how I've been able to travel basically twice a year for the last, I think three or four years on a self-employed budget with like no job. Gonna be giving you guys the tools, tips and tricks that I personally use to get this done. Now to get started, I'm basically going to be breaking this video down into four different categories for each hack that is number one flights number two accommodation number three transportation and number four spending money so i'm going to be telling you guys exactly how you can book the cheapest possible flights accommodation all that stuff to make your travel as cheap as humanly possible so we're going to start off with hack number one and that is flights now flights is going to be the number one most important expense of your trip because without the flight you will not be able to go to the places you're trying to go to i use four different Different services to find my flights or book my cheapest flights and that would be Skyscanner, Kiwi, Expedia, and Ryanair. They all basically do the same thing but the two ones that I use the most would be Skyscanner and Expedia. These are my top two favorites. So the first thing we want to do is we have to decide where we're going to go and when we're going to go there because this plays a heavy role in just how expensive your flight will come out to be. A lot of people don't really think about this when they're deciding on their trips they kind of just figure out oh I want to go here and and I wanna go in the summertime, which is literally the most expensive time to travel pretty much anywhere. So you wanna decide where you're going and when you're going. And the best way to do this is to use Skyscanner. Now it is an app and a website. My advice to you is just go wherever is cheapest and whenever is cheapest. Don't try and say, I wanna go during the summertime to uh, Bali or something like that. Cause that could be like the most expensive trip you can possibly book. You wanna keep an open mind about where you want to travel to you want you kind of want to just leave yourself open to experiences in wherever this website will take you now i'll show you why so for this particular example we're going to start from lax so los angeles if you click here where it says to you can't decide where you want to click that and it's going to take you to show everywhere so it's going to show you all the options from lax to anywhere in the world where the cheapest places are to fly and then for the departure and the return you want to click here and select whole month and go down the cheapest month. This will show you the cheapest place to fly to from LAX during the cheapest time to fly there. So it's kind of putting both of these uh, filters in one so that you can get the cheapest possible trip. So we're gonna search flights and just see what it gives us. So it lists a bunch of different uh, countries that you can fly to and it gives you the starting price for the round trip from LAX. So we got Mexico, as round trip as cheap as $159. Canada, as cheap as $221. El Salvador, all kinds of places in South America. If you want to go to Europe, we have Spain as cheap as $310. And the list goes on. It shows you all of these countries. So we're going to just select Spain here at $310 and it'll show us all the cities that we can uh, possibly fly to. So I'm just gonna select Barcelona because it, it is the cheapest. And when you do that, this is why I like Skyscanner because it gives you a price calendar. So it'll show each specific day what the prices are to fly from your city to that uh, country. So just taking a look here, I think the cheapest day to fly out would be April 1st and the cheapest day to fly back would be the 9th. 156. So we're talking about an April, a round trip ticket from LAX to Barcelona, estimated at as cheap as $312. So let's go to show flight because that could be cheaper or more expensive, but searching all the providers. So from Expedia to Priceline to Hotwire, do whatever it's doing, the magic behind the scenes to find the cheapest possible flights for you. Yeah. Okay. $311 from LAX to Barcelona, Barcelona back to LAX with one stop in between. There you go, $311.
round trip for a week to Barcelona. You cannot beat that with a stick. Usually prices like this would be $1,500, $2,000. I used to spend so much money flying to Poland, 1,500 bucks, 1,800 bucks for, for just a flight alone, but we're talking about 300, 300 bucks. Now, another way you can do this, if you are pretty much set on a place that you wanna travel to, there is another option for you. So basically like, let's say you wanna go to Paris for sure. You select the airport that you're trying to go to, so Los Angeles, and let's say Paris, that's where you know you wanna go to, like, I'm it's set in stone you can still select that but then you come to uh, depart and return you still select whole month and cheapest month so the place that you are set on going to you can still find the cheapest time to go there you're not compromising if you have like set plans on where you want to go you can at least go to the place you want to go but just maybe find a different time that might be cheaper so we'll search flights for paris and it'll show us the days that are cheapest to fly from lex to paris let's say the 22nd to the first and we get prices as cheap as 359 and I've seen even cheaper than this the price was 275 bucks round trip but that is basically essentially another way another hack that you can use now along with this the days that you actually purchase the flights on also plays a huge role in how cheap the flights get I know that a lot of people have heard Tuesdays and Wednesdays are very cheap which is true but also I have found even cheaper flights international flights they tend to be cheapest for me on sundays so i would recommend searching on a sunday a tuesday or a wednesday for your flights and to buy on one of these specific days now the thing about skyscanner that i do not like is that it doesn't offer as much information on the flights as uh, a tr actual travel website like expedia does like in terms of baggage allowance or cost of check bags like uh skyscanner won't tell you this information at least not from what i've seen this is why i like to use expedia so i kind of use skyscanner and Expedia uh, to kind of compare against each other. Basically, I use Skyscanner to find the cheapest days to fly out somewhere and the cheapest places to fly to. Once I found that, I jumped to Expedia, put in those same dates, the same countries, the same places to see if I can find the exact same tickets to these places on Expedia. Um, that way, when I booked a flight through Expedia, there's actually options on Expedia where you can find, it'll show you how much a checked bag will cost for that airline. So instead of like going to the airport after you've already bought your tickets on Skyscanner and then them I'm saying okay your bag will, will now be $75 uh, uh, so I like to use Expedia if I can if, if it can find the same prices as Skyscanner another reason why I like to use Expedia to book my flights after finding the cheapest flight on Skyscanner you know if Expedia will be as cheap as Skyscanner is because Expedia's mobile application is a lifesaver it is a game changer i wish more applications were like expedia when you book through expedia and you have an account with expedia on the application it'll show you all the information about your flights your hotels whatever you book through them it'll show on the app and let's say if your flight arrives late you get to the airport and you don't know which gate you're supposed to go to you're trying to rush to find a little board where it says departures and all that stuff just open the app and it'll show you where your next flight is and the gate that it's leaving from It'll also tell you if your next flight has been changed to a different gate, it'll update in real time. It'll also tell you if your next flight is delayed within the app. So all the stuff that, that you need to know from the airport or that you have to find on a board in the airport or ask like some workers in the airport, can you give me information on this flight? You can actually find that in the Expedia app, which is why I like to book things on Expedia so much because it makes my travel so much more convenient and easier to do, easier to deal with. And I have less stress on my mind when I know this information is correct. Just go to this gate, go here, the flight's on time, boom terminal blah 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 it even has the map of the terminal it's expedia is a life a lifesaver a lifesaver so i love to use expedia now another thing that i like to keep in mind when i'm traveling is once you're in europe prices for flights between countries become a lot less expensive so while you're over there while i'm over there what i like to do is book trips that are at least two weeks long so that while i'm over there in europe i can take advantage of the fact that these flights are so cheap between countries if i want to explore more than one country i can do that while i'm over there and take advantage of that instead of having to fly back to san diego and then book another thousand dollar trip back out there a different time no spend as much time in europe as you can flying between countries for 20 bucks here 30 bucks here 15 bucks here you can see so many different countries for under i would say like 200 bucks if you can find the right countries which you can it's crazy what you can find on ryanair actually ryanair you can find through skyscanner basically just uh whatever country you're in so basically the same way that you did before you would basically come here to 
to uh, Los Angeles. Let's just type, if I'm in Paris, I'll type Paris and then I'll select, can't decide, I'll go everywhere. And let's say if I have to leave uh, on the 25th, we'll just do like a one-way trip so search flights and it just look at this it'll show me the cheapest flights from paris to any other country and we have 20 dollars tickets italy 21 dollars tickets to spain 22 dollars tickets to hungary 22 dollars tickets to poland you can go to five different places for under a hundred bucks this is why i book trips that are longer than a week at least two weeks maybe three weeks maybe four weeks so that i can fly to as many different countries as i possibly can in one trip while i'm out there take advantage of these cheap prices look at this do you see why i like to to to, to take advantage of my time while i'm in europe so that's another another hack you want to you want to leave as much time as you possibly can while you're already over there to see more places while you're there don't just focus on one place don't just be set on i have to see just paris for two weeks you need to book as many different places as you can while you're there take advantage of those cheap prices and you will be so happy that you did that i promise you i i, I promise you